Uh, actually, this video caught my attention, chat. It's an older video from uh, from Matt Season about the different client that China China's alternate World of Warcraft used to work on. I don't think they were allowed to show skeletons or bones or like you know dead people and stuff like that in the actual client. So they had to remove a bunch of different things. <laughs> What loaf of bread, yep. Hey guys, what's up, Mad Season here, back with another video for you. I got something pretty interesting for you today. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take a step into the Twilight Zone, known as the Chinese version of World of Warcraft. Yep. Basically, for those who don't know, in China, anything to do with death or anything representing yep. it is a very taboo subject. So much so, for instance, their word for the number four sounds too similar to the word death, so it's generally avoided. Really? So, this means the word death, things such as skulls, bones, undead, There's nothing. basically anything to do with death is strictly off the table. Yeah. Surprisingly though, things such as zombies still seem to be okay, but they just can't have any bones showing. Mm -hmm. So, in regards to video games, what typically happens if these elements are common? Well, it depends on how deeply ingrained death is in the game, but generally okay. two things happen. The oh, game isn't released at all, or it's released, but it's heavily censored and edited until it's appropriate for the culture. Wait, Rattlegore turns into this? Is that the Rattlegore they got? Now, what? this may seem like a monumental undertaking, and it is. It's a huge game, and death is yeah. everywhere. We even have a class based all around it called the Death Knight, or what it's called in China, the Fade Knight. The Fade Knight. So, when I said anything to do with death, I really... Wait! That abomination, look at his his belly! He doesn't have the open belly! ...to do with death, I really meant anything. Not necessarily everything, though. Some stuff did slip through yeah. the cracks, as you'll see. So, in this video, I'd like to show you some no gore, examples yeah. of the edits and censorships, comment on them a bit, and just compare the two versions. Something I should say before I begin, though, is that this is all taken from a Reddit post from a while ago by mm. the user Vadis. He gave me permission to reference and use the images from his post, so all credit goes to him. And if you want to see the post for yourself, I'll have a link in the description. What? They look so different! I, I just think it's interesting. I don't really have a big problem with it, honestly. I just find it really interesting to see the differences, you know? Because it, it, it's such a different, like, style. Let's start with what I already mentioned, and that's the Fade Knight. I There's don't know. not much difference between them and the Death Knights, it's Dude, just the differences in the months. spell names pretty much. Death Coil is renamed to Fade Coil, Death and Decay <laughs> is Fade and Decay, and so on. Dude, oh, uh, sorry. Honestly, that, that sounds kind of sick, man. Fade Coil. <laughs> hey, that's kind of sick, actually. What the hell? Fade and Decay, yeah. KRS2, thank you for the 20 months. Fade and Decay. Other than that, though, they're pretty much the same. Okay. Another big thing is the Undead model. As you know, both the male and female undead models have some bone showing. The arms, legs, fingertips, ribcage, spine, etc. Mm. In China, all of this is a big no-no, so it was changed. These are what the models look like, like that, in their honestly. client. Obviously, much more meaty, and the more gory facial appearances are removed. I never really liked the tr the spine like going out the, the, the back like that. I think this looks kind of dang, actually. It's kind of interesting, I think. I, I like I this. I think the less decayed version actually looks pretty nice, yeah, and it would make I for agree. a good optional selection on the US servers. As you can see, the spine no longer shows through the armor, which I think makes more sense. I never understood I why the spine yeah. protrudes out of their clothing, like with what we have on live servers. Yeah. As for other censorships, it's what you would oh. expect. Skulls, bones, etc. The Abomination model, of course, wouldn't do, so they gave him a beer belly. Luckily- Dude, I kind of like that, man. I kind of vibe with the little beer belly, man. The dad bod representing. Though, they kept his extra uh, appendage. Yeah. Here you can see an edited skeleton mage. Here's an edit. Oh, so the top is Chinese. Wait, hold. See an edited skeleton. Wait, he looks kind of... That's a little... He has a little helmet. Skeleton mage. Here's an edited saffron from next... Okay, they, they got cocked on saffron, though. Instead of like a, a giga cool frost worm, they just got like a blue dragon. I don't, dude, that that frost worm looks way cooler. Dramis. A less bony, more bulky undead troll. Okay. And the bones of Agonar in the Hellfire Peninsula were also altered. He's meaty. Yeah. And the room of upside down sinners in the Karazhan crypts had the corpses removed. All right, cool. Makes and sense. the list goes on and on. By all means, check out that link. Oh, they just got a bunch of pillows. But they still have the bones there, though, so I guess they missed some of them, but they just have a bunch of pillows. Link in the description if you want a full account, because there's a lot of changes, as you can imagine. So, the things they Wait, sent- what is that? 
That's not bread, is it? It's cheese? Orange? I don't- it looks like bread or something. Sure makes sense, <laughs> but what they're replaced with doesn't always make sense. And that brings me to the next set of screenshots that'll yeah. call the breadening. More abundant oh, than anything is all of the ground clutter. Through many dungeons or certain leveling zones, there'll be some bones or corpses strewn about. So, this obviously can't stand. What objects could they use to replace them? Crates? Barrels? Piles of junk? Well, how about bread? <laughs> how funny is that, dude? I love it. That's kind of funny, That's right. though. What better alternative do you have this to bread. replace this chunk of unknown meat on the floor of this cultist crypt? Why, bread, of course. Ooh, I don't know bakery. about you guys, but this is a perfect fit. Chunks of meat? Bread. Decaying corpses? Mm. Bread. An undead monstrosity? The gingerbread man spreading joy with his breadness. Wait, what? Congratulations. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. I, I, thank you guys. That's very kind of you guys. Wait, so they, we, there's like a, a giant with this bread all over him. There's no way. That's right. Skullamance is under renovations. It's now a bakery, and they're really <laughs> aggressive with their sales pitch. I strongly suspect the reasoning for this is that throughout the game, that is there funny. are lots of tables that have meat yeah. and animal carcasses on them. The people in charge of censoring all of this stuff started with that, and appropriately so, this changed all, all of the these meat items into bread. It fits in this sense, but a problem that arose is that these tables are everywhere, so to save time, oh they changed God. all of the items in the entire game across the board. And the problem with that is that these chunks of meat that are on these tables are the same ones on the floors of Scholomance and who the heck knows where else. They probably found out about it after the fact oh. and oh. just sort of went with it. And so we learn the true purpose of the Cult of the Damned, and that's yeah. to feed all of Azeroth with their delicious dough-based sustenance. Oh gosh. Production is at full speed, and they're specking into pastry soon, so prepare yourselves. <laughs> Other strange anomalies are statues replaced with sacks of grain. Wh what? Talking skulls are now talking grain sacks and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Another recurring thing is the straw man. This replaced the many skeletons in the game, and they're all over the place. Oh, really? People really don't like these strawmen because it's a genocide. Oh but my gosh. But at least they respect them enough to put them in their own crypts and coffins. Dude, what the hell? And here you can see how little strawmen are made. Oh. And this unfortunate soul seems to be the subject of some sort oh, of experiment. No. Now, that's the last straw in my book. I can't bear to watch anymore. Oh, that's a good one. Some stuff did slip through the cracks, though, which is understandable considering just how many skulls and whatnot are in the game. Oh, that's not the correct uh, drop, uh... Command, shoot, uh, okay. The Lich King's Lots. armor remains intact, as well as Sylvanus's. That's kind of weird. And various skulls and bones did make it through. It all seems kind of rushed, and yeah. some weird choices were made. So, this corpse is fine, but this lantern isn't? I guess it really depends if there are any visible bones or not. It's kind of weird, I guess, but yeah. But anyways, that's about all I have to show you. Like I said, if you want to see a more thorough accounting of everything, check out that link, because there's a lot I left out. Okay. And once again, credit and thanks goes out to the Reddit user Vadis for digging this stuff up. That's, That's a about cool video. all I have to say, though. I'm gonna go play my Fade Night. I hope you found the video interesting. Fade like it if coil. you liked it, and thanks for watching. Peace. Love it. Fruit Snack, thank you for the 20 months. That was a cool video. I like that. I'll link it here, chat. Shout out to Matt Season. Shout out to Matt Season. That's so sick.